Hello, it's Thursday. I just got my hair cut and I also need to return a big pile of books. So I think we're going to the library. Hi, hello, I'm back from the library and let me show you what I got. So, I have my bag here. My strategy when I go to the library is usually I pull up my Goodreads lists, uh, my TBRs on my phone and I check through their system to see what's available from what I have on my list. So I never really plan what I'm going to get before I'm there and I'll just see what's in. And today, I, the first one I picked up is this, how Shoplifting from American Apparel. I just came across this title and I thought it sounded really cool. So I wanted to read it. I have no idea what it's about, but it sounds fun. Shoplifting, why not? Then I saw that this one, a Pet by Aquaki MAC, that I actually asked the library to order. Uh, they got it now. So I ran to the shelf that held it and I got it and I hope I'm the first one to get it. I also saw, I wanted to read The Night Circus because it felt like a kind of cozy September mood to read a book like that, but it wasn't available. But this one was available. So I thought I would check this out. It's The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern who wrote The Night Circus also. Um, I have no idea what it's about, but <laughs> I thought if I like this then I'll probably like The Night Circus and it could pro possibly be in the same genre. Then almost uh, on the next shelf, uh, on the shelf next to uh, Starless Sea was this. And I actually read I think half of this. It's called Down Station and it's by Simon Morden. Uh, I read half of this book. Uh, like a year ago, but I didn't finish it because I think I had to return it and my reading was too slow But I remember it was a really interesting book and then I went to the poetry shelf and I got this Which is Catullus who is a Roman poet and a friend of mine really likes this one. She studied Latin uh, Because she's a linguist and a librarian and she said that when she studied Latin this they read these in Latin and they translated them and she really liked them so I thought why not check out some Roman poetry. And uh, that's, that's my library haul. Hello on Monday. I have finished reading 
in the dream house. I finished it yesterday evening and it was so good. I don't, I'm gonna have to leave my opinions and words until later because I need to like process and think, but one of the absolutely best books I read for a long time. I just had online classes the whole day and I need to relax a bit from the Zoom classes. So I need to relax a bit. So I thought I would get started on pet. Hello on Wednesday. It's my third day reading pet. I'm like a bit over halfway through. And I have to say, although there are many things that I kind of like about the book and the idea and the premise, I kind of don't really like the book so much so far. I, it's hard, I don't know exactly how to put my finger on what it is that I don't like, but I just cannot get into it. Like, I feel so... Almost I feel bad for not liking it because I thought I would really enjoy it, but I'm actually not really enjoying it. Hello on Thursday. I finished reading Pet yesterday and I ended up kind of... Nah, it was okay. I feel one of the problems is probably that I had really, really high expectations and it didn't really meet those expectations but it was fine i there are things that i find troublesome and boring about the book there are things that i found extremely good and interesting about that book Hello, hello. I'm in the beautiful park close to the library because I'm going to pick some goodies up that I've ordered and I thought I'd give a quick update on what I've been reading and where I've been <laughs> because this last week I've mostly been in school because we're doing a really intense module of work. So last weekend I finished reading In the Dream House by Carmen Maria Machado. This is a work of absolute beauty. It's a story about a relationship where Carmen Maria Machado was abused by her partner and she talks about abuse in queer relationships and specifically in lesbian relationships and she does this through the use of different genres and tropes so each chapter is titled with the trope it's using and through all of these different styles of writing she can pour light on different parts of the relationship and different fragments of what abuse can be and how abusive relationships work. It sounds like a book about abuse would be kind of boring and make you feel kind of down, but for this book it's definitely not the case. This was a very... it was uplifting because it was so good, you know, when you read something really good or when you consume art or media that's really well made, for me at least it's uplifting, even if the subject matter is hard and difficult. So I feel that this book gave me pure joy as a reader and I really have a lot of respect for Carmen Maria Machado for her intelligence and her wit and how sharp she is with sharing very intimate details about her life and turning it into something very potent and, and art, artistic, beautiful, wonderful. I really hope you read this because it's a very, very, very good book. Then I read, like I mentioned, I read Pet and I had such high expectations and high hopes for this book that 
it kind of made me disappointed I think now in in hindsight because I had such high hopes and maybe be, if I had picked it up without knowing much about it I would have felt differently but now it kind of to me didn't live up to much of what I hoped it would so I kind of felt it was a bit predictable and it just didn't do much for me even though I still really love the premise I really love the idea and I still want to read other works of uh, a Quake Games I. <laughs> I also finished reading this little collection of poems by Roman poet Catullus who is this super emo boy who only writes about his big 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 feelings and he's extremely explicit and uh, not safe for work because he also writes a lot about sex and he roasts his friends and it's basically like reading a tumblr vlog from 2012 but it's like written in in the roman times so i can really recommend just for a fun read of like a emo boy from the roman days that catullus has some really funny work uh, i also started and put down and started and put down and started and then finally decided I'm just not going to try to finish this because this Kiss of the Spider Woman I don't know but I could I could not get into it um, it features so far as I've come into it a lot of retellings of movies and I just can't I can't get into it so maybe I will pick it up at a later date in my life but now no it's not doing anything for me I'm sorry, but oh, <laughs> I also read this uh, shoplifting from American Apparel by Tao Lin that I picked up last time I went to the library just because it sounded fun, like a cool title. I had no idea who Tao Lin was or what kind of book it would be. Super short, tiny little novel and it was so good. I loved it so much. It's a really kind of slow moving story with no real plot and the main character doesn't really do much and it, that sounds like an extremely boring book i can imagine but it was so brilliant if you just follow this guy ben who's a poet and he's really depressed and he works a boring job at a restaurant and you can you just get tiny snippets of his life when he's talking to friends when he's at a party when he's traveling to go to some concerts when he's chatting with a friend and I really loved it. It's also like a little time capsule because it's written in 2008 and it's like very the 2008 era is very present like you they mention it, that it's just before the election like it's just before Obama got elected and I don't know it felt like a beautiful little time capsule and golden gem of uh, a writing style that I'm not really used to reading but it was very nice. I read it just after I finished reading Pet and because I found Pet to be so predictable uh, it was really nice to read a book that I had no idea what it was and since it didn't have a plot it couldn't be predictable because there was nothing to predict I liked it I would love to read something more by Tao Lin because I really appreciate his writing style Friday afternoon and I thought I'd give a bit of an update on my reading of Dread Nation. Um, the premise of the story is that uh, during the American Civil War the soldiers that died on the battlefield they started rising up as zombies again and the government decided that who better to protect the white citizens of America from this threat of the undead than to gather up all the native people and all the black people and turn them into sort of an army to protect white people from zombies. And in this world we follow Jane who is about 17 years old and is enrolled in a combat academy where she is training to become a sort of bodyguard who is going to serve and protect a white woman. But Jane is a lot smarter and more qualified, more interested in science and literature than her white teachers uh, expect of her and this annoys them a lot. 
and she's also quite critical of the situation, critical of the system she's living in, and this turns into her discovering that there are some quite deep going problems and corruptions that requires her to use uh, kind of all of her skills and all of her knowledge to, to fight the system from within. I am quite enjoying this book so far. It's a very entertaining read and I really like how it's a story that packs these really heavy and serious topics of fighting oppression, racism, colonialism into this story that's enjoyable to read, fast-paced and is basically about like a young black girl fighting zombies. So I'm going to continue reading and I think I will give you an update when I've finished and when I have more thoughts. like two minutes ago and my heart is like pumping because it was so scary in the end and I read so fast <laughs> but it was so good it was so good and it's just kept getting better and better and better and better and I really liked it and I look forward to reading the next two I don't want to like I don't want to say anything about what happens but it's just really like nice fuck the system revenge story and I want more. So good, so good, such a good book. Um, as you can see in the background I have all of my sewing stuff. Uh, I'm going to try to sort this out so I can go to bed. Um, I'm ending this vlog here and thank you so much for watching. And I will see you the next time that I make a video. Bye bye!